That shiz is on lightning, family. Okay, that title was clickbait, but let me explain. Last night I had a dream that Casey Neistat had a studio in Salt Lake. He was here, and I ran into him, and I, you know, I said, "Hey, nice to meet you." Blah blah blah. I said, "Hey, I'm running into issues getting to this place." I said, "Well, is there anything I can do to help?" And he said, "Yeah, if you can let my parents stay in your hotel, that'd be great." And then they reached out to me and said, you know, uh, we'll pay you $90 a day. We just need somewhere to stay. So we had like an extra couch. For some reason, the hotel room was huge, which obviously would never happen. So we were doing a commercial for some company and they had hired us to, to go there. They were paying for the hotel. But we were just waiting for them to call us to say, okay, let's go. And we ended up being there for like five days. We're in this hotel. Uh, we were there for about five days. The company never called us to make the commercial. Uh, Casey Neistat's mom showed up to just talk about how much it was going to cost to stay in the hotel and the timeline. And then I woke up before they actually moved in. Pretty sure this dream happened because of the vlog that Casey posted yesterday, uh, talking about how he had a friend that was staying in his house uh, because he didn't have anywhere else. Wait, he had posted that they were going to go on vacation, but didn't, and he had already set up for somebody to stay in his apartment while they were gone, but then they didn't leave. So the guy just showed up there. So you can watch that vlog down below. If you've never seen Casey Neistat, you should probably subscribe because he's like the top dog as far as vlogs go right now. Sorry for the clickbait. You guys, that car's a mouse. You can't tell from here. It has ears. So there's a guy right there in the mirror. Gosh, I can't see it. Right there. This car broke down right here. I helped him push his car, and then I drove him to Maverick to get gasoline, and that's my good deed for the day. Now I can be a jerk. Ugh. Well, guys, it's cleaning day. some awesome toast okay first get the bread second you cut it in half if they're too big third <coughs> parmesan cheese sprinkle that on there spread it around broil it I repeat broil it we'll broil in the oven until they turn golden brown then they're done would you like to know how to make perfect Velveeta step one boil one and a half quarts or six cups of water in a saucepan. And then as you're pouring the stirs the shells in, make sure you stir it, that's important. Then you cook it for eight to ten minutes or until they're tender. Make sure you stir it accordingly and occasionally. Then you drain the pasta. Then after that you add the Velveeta cheese that's provided. Boom, you got a perfect Velveeta every time. If you ever forget, just read the box like I just did, you dummy. Bon appetit, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Till it turns off. <laughs> Going over speed bumps in my neighborhood. this. 